Okay guys, welcome back. Because I can gaming and today we have the perk point glitch. So if you need your perk points to buy your car mastery, I'm going to show you how to do it super easy. You see I'm at the Aldenburg City Sprint. I'm going to show you what car we're going to use. I'm using Renault 5. I had to buy it for this video as you see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully modify it. So I'm going to use all my car mastery points and I'm going to buy everything I need so it helps it build up faster. It's going to help it bank more and longer and so forth. Now this glitch works as of today, which is what is today's date? God, March 27th. So after all these updates, this glitch is a still a working glitch, guys. So that's good news for us. So if you're watching the video the other day, if you're new to Forza or you don't want to do the Goliath glitch and you want to do something that's pretty well undetectable and you want to make some good money, you do this glitch so you can get your uh, car mastery points and then you're going to jump over to my other video. I'll link it actually up right now on top of the screen or down below wherever it decides to put it. Um, what car is to buy at the auction house that still has tons of money in it? So we're talking you buy a car for $10,000 or $15,000 and you're getting 300 grand by using your car mastery points. So I don't know about you, but that is a really good way to bank a lot of money. And if you don't like to gamble, then you can buy the Porsche... Uh, uh, I forget, it was Porsche 911 or 79 911 or 33 or something like that. It has, you buy it for 150000 and you get 150000 back. So you, you pretty well make double your money. So you, you make hundred fifty grand and you get to keep the car. Unfortunately, with that car, you will never be able to sell it. You'll have to delete it out of your auction house because people know that one all too well. Um, the ones that I show, people tend to buy a lot of because a lot of people don't claim the perks. So everyone's always in the auction house trying to buy them. So at least you'll make some money that way. So I prefer to gamble. I'm a gambler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to the race. I'm going to go to custom events and I'm going to pick trending today. And I'm just going to find one that says, you know, perk glitch or points glitch. There's tons of them up there, guys. I checked today. It's still working. So it's going to be a one lap race. It's going to be kind of glitchy and, uh, if you play around with it, you might be able to get it so it banks, so you can go AFK. Um, I haven't done it myself, but as you see in the video, it was banking for me, and you know that's what I would prefer. Don't try, and I gotta can't stress this enough. People message me before when these videos were up, and they're like, oh, I got like five million perk points in one go, and I only got ten points. Yes, it will cap out at ten. So you want to make sure you don't get too many points because it's just a waste of your time. That's why I'm talking about banking them. If you set yourself in the proper spot, after a while they'll bank. So you'll get like 15 or 20,000 points each time and then they'll they'll collect into your per, your car mastery and then it'll continue going again. That's what you want if you're going AFK. If you can't get it AFK, and again I haven't tried to see if AFK will work, which means away from the controller. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to set it up and you're going to watch YouTube or if you're, you know, playing a different game or you're playing PlayStation or God knows, I know I have more than one console. So if I'm surfing YouTube and I want to uh, get some perk points to uh, cash in on some good money, I'm just going to sit here and hit my controller every now and then so I can bank them myself, which just means I'll uh, wait for it to build up to, you know, 70,000 times five and then I'll move my car a little bit so I get points. So here's your last two checkpoints, guys. You see these guys are already responding. So I'm driving by. I want to respawn just to show you where I'm at. And all you're going to do is you're going to back up until the numbers go away. So as you see here, I drove past the second last checkpoint. It said I missed the checkpoint. I shoved it in reverse and I backed up until the counter went away. And as you see now, I'm getting double passes, triple passes, clean. Like I'm getting everything and it's going. So that's what you want. This is your car mastery. So as you see, it is banking right now. It's going up and going up and going up. What you want, boom, you see how that bank, that is what you want technically. Because if you keep it like that, you can just go, you know, plug your controller in, set your Xbox off power saving mode, and then you can just walk away from your controller. Make sure you put a rubber band around your controller so the game thinks that you're trying to steer, steer your car. That way it doesn't kick you guys from uh, being idled for too long. Make sure your batteries are pulled out, stuff like that. You all should know how to go AFK by now, especially watching my channel. Now, a good thing is if you want to bank them faster and like you're watching YouTube and you don't want to leave this AFK, you can just back up, get closer to them, and you'll bank it faster. So you'll get more points in a faster duration. But doing it this way, you're going to need to make sure that you're actually watching it. That way you can move it yourself each time to uh, get them to go into your car mastery. The only downfall with this is it's very glitchy. You guys are going to have an issue with this. As you see that if I move my car, which I'm going to do, it's going to say I missed a checkpoint. Then you've got to mess around again with putting your car back in the same spot. So 
it is a very glitchy race, guys. So that's why you're you're glitching out your your car mastery and getting more points. But it's well worth the time to take. As you see here, it respawned at me here. I just want to get around, get close to them, so I'll bank my points faster. And I'm not really banking them faster. I'm building them faster because I'm closer to them. I'm getting more passes. I'm getting you know more triple passes and stuff like that by just sitting here. But again, the closer you get, the less likely it's going to bank them for you. So you got to physically sit here and watch this. That's why I like to show you the first step first. And that way, if you try to go AFK, it should work. But again, make sure you play around with it yourself. Make sure you get your car set up in the proper location. That way, when it comes time, you know yourself that it's banking your points for you. So like this, guys, it works as you see. So this is an awesome glitch if you're new to the game or even if you're old to the game and you didn't do the Goliath glitch or by any chance if you got banned from the Goliath glitch and you have to start over, this is what you're going to need to bank some money. So again, I will post up the video right about now showing the, the auction house, what cars to buy that have tons of money in it, guys. There's tons of them out there. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy glitching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.